Hi, I'm Rusty Roberts, and I'm part of an amazing cancer survivor family. It all started with this woman right here, Peggy Sue Roberts. She's my mother, and uh, uh, we're just going to have a talk, uh, talk today and update. We've done quite a few videos over the years, but now it's I think it's time to to sit down and, and do another one and just update it. Because how long have you been a cancer survivor now? Almost 10 years, Rusty. 10 years. Uh -huh. Can you tell us, how did that start? Um, I had fatigue and then I had knots to come out on my neck mm -hmm. and that ended up being 22 tumors in my body and by the time they found the doctors found out what was wrong I was stage four and had three months to live. 2006. 2006 uh -huh. okay and uh, so that's when you were diagnosed when did they start conventional because we started with conventional treatments just like anybody else so uh, you started conventional treatments in what year 2007 2007 okay and that was uh, tell us about it tell us about that experience well i had two rounds of chemo mm -hmm. and the second one i coded in the chair i was allergic to the chemo and the doctor revived me they pumped me out the best they could and started my heart and sent me home to die that would be quite a, a, a horrible experience, I can imagine. You know, uh, we trust our doctors with our lives, our whole life, and then all of a sudden there's this massive betrayal. Do you think that's unique, or do you think that happens to a lot of people? It happens to probably everybody, because I couldn't help but think, why you revive me if you're going to send me home to die? You know? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? I have to do this all over again. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, it's kind of strange that we laugh about that, but that is kind of funny, especially since it was nine years ago. So how do you go from that situation to becoming a nine-year stage four survivor? How do you do that? My husband, Jim. Uh, did research mm -hmm. and he found a clinic in Mexico for me to go to. Mm -hmm. Went there, I stayed there for three weeks and with the three weeks of natural treatments, then they wiped out 22 tumors and I went home cancer free. In three weeks? In three weeks. Right. Now, for most of us that, uh, it, it, for you and I and our family, no one had ever heard of that before. Uh, so now anyone who might be watching this video for the first time, they probably haven't ever heard of that before. Is that unique? Are, are, are you, is your story unheard of or still unique to this day? Oh, this happens to every patient almost. And it's not a unique thing. I'm not anything special. Um, the doctor does all the medications and the treatments and mm -hmm. uh, the patients have that kind of results. It's just normal. So it happens but, a lot, all the time? Yeah, it's yeah. just normal to get well. Wow, that's amazing. It is. So you've had an additional nine years of life. I have, yeah. yeah. Well, Got to spend more years with your dad. Well, that's great. <laughs> thank you for sitting down with us, Mom, and thank you for watching. Thank you.